Hi everybody, as you can see we are live once again on this fine day. The uh, first thing I will say is that our current move has been put on hold even though we did find a nice place but we can't go for it partly because my mum's going for a small operation that will take maybe a month or so for her to recover from and obviously she won't be able to do stuff and I'll need to look after her more than usual because I can admit she looks after me a fair bit but obviously we, it'll be hard enough just doing ordinary things let alone worrying about actually trying to move so uh, we'll put up with these uh, lovely neighbours in this great neighbourhood which if you've watched previous videos you know ain't the best this neighbourhood looks nice but yeah no <laughs> want to get the hell out of here but that's on hold because of yeah because it sadly needs to be I've on my channel finished a few games with which uh, Resident Evil 7 and Titanfall 2 somehow all finishing at the same time I didn't see that coming until a little while ago I'll admit like if, maybe a couple weeks ago or something I was like huh <laughs> became kind of obvious they're all going to finish together. And it was a little... I don't think I've had three games finish at the same time before, but then again, I don't think I've had more than that many games going for the longest time anyway, so... Oh, well. Sorry about you, I I've not been sleeping the best, but I just woke up from a sort of, I guess, late morning, afternoon sort of <laughs> doze after being up a bit of the night, so... I think I'm as good as I'm gonna be for this. There's uh, no. Well, now that Bullet Storm Full Clip Edition is out, there's not gonna be any new games of interest for a little while, with Prey 3, as far as I know, being the next one. There may be some along the way, I mean, I don't know. It depends what games like Siberia 3 turn out to be. First, I've heard of it. I heard of it, it was, it was quite a while back, but then I knew absolutely nothing about it. I was like, what the hell's going on? See a bit more. I mean, it might be interesting, it might not. I don't really know. have to wait and see what it turns out to be. And if it's any good. I mean, since it's the third one, I would kind of think it might be some good. But then, well, some not very good games have had sequels anyway, so doesn't prove everything the... hmm. hopefully the games that I've been replacing recently with uh, replacing them with Horizon Zero, Mass Effect and Resident Evil 5 for the hell of it hopefully those series will be stuff at least one of those will be something you'd like to watch but let me know what you think of the series and what you'd like to be see on the channel, I guess, so we can see whether it's something I'm looking forward to doing, something I've recorded and waiting to upload, or something I don't particularly like, and you may need to go somewhere else to view, because there are some games out there that I really don't want to play, and even if they're suggestions, I would not play. But with uh, no new games coming out, I mean, my mind may be a bit more open to some suggestions than it would otherwise be. After I'm currently playing Game of Thrones by Tell the Telltale series, it's turning out to be alright. And then again, most Telltale games are okay to interesting. The only one that I kind of didn't like the ending really was uh, Tales of the Borderlands. The ending just seemed kind of meh at best, but the rest of the game was pretty cool. Well, the rest of the game was hilarious. I found it really enjoyable. Just a shame they didn't keep that fun and energy and... Well, I mean, they tried to, but it just didn't really f feel it at the ending of the last parts. This episode was kind of... Kind of a letdown. <laughs> Hopefully... I mean, hopefully some people enjoyed it more than I did, because that mean that they did alright, I guess. I'm looking forward to probably playing Bullet, well, Bullet Storm, Full Clip, and 
Dead Space, which I've got waiting to, because I've played a bit of that in the past, but never really got very far, and the first one is on the Xbox One backwards compatible list, so I think I could really enjoy playing it. Uh, if I keep yawning, that's not a good sign. But beyond that lot, I don't feel there's most amount of stuff to talk about, just can't move. No new games now for nearly a month. And after May, I don't actually know when the next new interesting game is. I know there's some books also coming out in May that I'd like to read, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And I mean, I know there's games like Red Dead Redemption 2, but I'll admit I never actually finished the first one. Coming out later this year, supposedly, there's supposedly Dynasty Warriors 9, which I would love to play, but I don't know if Dynasty Warriors would... They've talked about being open world, and I don't know if I think being a proper open world game would work for it. 8, with the nice sized maps running around slaughtering enemies and fighting officers and stuff, that was, that was really fun. 9, they may be going beyond bigger is better. Uh, make it too damn much with either not enough content or just too much repetitive stuff that may not even be as fun. My favourite Dynasty Warriors are 5 and 8, with them being a bit different enough that I don't know if I could really compare them too well, but 7's alright. 6 was okay, but 6 Empires was like <laughs> the worst one ever. 8 Empires was lazy and boring, 7 Empires, which is on PS3 only, which you can't record in HD, that's probably the one. The only one I'm actually currently still playing with a friend, it's just sort of nice, fun, relaxing co-op stuff or single stuff. It, you can use hard difficulties and need to use the strategy stuff, or you can just go on like normal and just run around slaughtering enemies if you want. Just relax and take a load off. <laughs> Oh, other games. I don't really know. I mean, I'm looking forward to games like Last of Us Part 2 and. There was something else. Crap. Days Gone, that was it. I haven't heard about much of that in ages, but I really would look forward to. Upon seeing what I'd seen some time ago, like the trailer for us, some crap. It's a really good trailer. I apologise for his constant yarding. I don't seem to be able to do much about it. Don't know if it's just because I'm talking a lot or what. <laughs> and that's probably going to have to be it because I can't. I think there's anything left to really discuss beyond uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching the video I look forward to seeing you next time and yeah any games you want to see uh, or just a uh, stupid thing to say but uh, if you're going to make a game recommendation um, and I tell you I've already done it I don't know, I'm not going to make you check because I've got quite a few series with, you know, all the years, 2014 to now. Might be a bit of a pain to make you look through, but just be aware that some games might have already been done. I'm not saying don't put your suggestions down. Definitely not saying that. Suggestions are welcome. And if it's a game I'm not playing, then I might even be able to point you to someone that is playing it. Because I've got... Obviously a few channels in the suggestion bar, uh, recommended by the Tengu and others. They're playing a nice selection of other games. So yeah, uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!